Cheeky Richo's Steamboat Party. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Steamboat Party. We've got some fresh lean beef, pork, some prawns, some pieces of fish and all our vegetables. You can put any combination of vegetables that you like, the fresher the better. We've also got some chopped garlic and ginger and some flavour stock. We have some vermicelli noodles, really, really fine mung bean noodles, some sesame oil, some dipping sauce, Vietnamese dipping sauce, some sweet soy sauce, and some fish sauce. And this is our steamboat. Take the lid off. It's got a little hot plate on the top of it, which is actually non stick, so that's pretty handy. And it's in the shape of a really large donut. The heating element is here. It has a couple of different speeds on it and you can also control the plate temperature. Cook your meat on there and you slide it off into your vegetable and stock and the flavour of the caramelised meat intensifies the flavour in the stock. It's an amazing thing. It's a, a social thing to do too. It's like the old fashioned fondues I suppose when everybody sits around and enjoys it. The ingredients are in the recipe box below but you can add or take away anything that you like. So let's get started. To the moat on our steamboat, we add soy sauce and fish sauce. And any beef bones or other bones that you have that can intensify the stock and some water. And we're going to boil this with our ginger and our garlic and our concentrated stock. Now before we pop our vegetables in, we brown our meats on the hot plates. We've got beef and pork prawns and fish pieces. You could use chicken, squid, whatever you like. Now just some carrots into the moat. The harder vegetables need to be added first. We'll put our asparagus spears in now, our broccoli, our cauliflower florets and green beans. Now we turn the beef over. We don't want to cook the beef, we just want to brown it and then we're going to push that beef into the stock and it'll continue cooking there. Now we're going to just brown our pork with some of our prawns or shrimps. These are actually frozen at the moment so they're going to take a little longer to cook than you would expect. Our vermicelli noodles go in now, just push those below the surface of the fluid. Now we just push our pork into the broth. You can adjust the seasoning now. And from time to time you may need to add more water. Just remove the beef bone. We don't want any surprises in someone's plate with that. And we just add our spinach and the lighter vegetables that take less cooking. Our snow peas and our mushrooms. Our capsicum and our zucchinis. In goes our celery and we'll just top it up with water to make sure all those vegetables are fully covered. And just push those prawns off into the soup, adding more beef and other meats as we go. The steamboat is best enjoyed with a variety of dipping sauces like chili and soy sauce. Our fish pieces go in now, they're boneless fish pieces and quite thin so they won't take much cooking at all. A few more prawns and we've got some parsley and coriander or cilantro that we're going to use to dress up the dish once it's served. So we just remove the vegetables and the meat that's cooked in the broth and ladle our broth over the top of those vegetables. A little drizzle of sesame oil, a sprinkle of our fresh herbs and your steamboat party is ready to enjoy. This is a perpetual dinner, you can keep adding more meat and vegetables to it just to keep it going. Very healthy, very light, there's no included fat or oil in it except for the sesame oil and it's very fresh and smells amazing. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of our steamboat party. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. 
And don't forget to please subscribe because we have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. And thank you so much for coming to our steamboat party. Have a lovely day.